Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today I want to talk about transformers. I think back uh, in my day there was a, a TV show about transformers and when I think of these kind of transformers I, I always think you know transformers money in disguise. Um, transformers come on any appliance, any electronic, they come in all sizes and there is a lot of copper uh, in some of them. Okay, so what I want to do today is I actually want to go through the different kinds of transformers. Um, doesn't always mean because they're smaller, they're not going to have a lot of copper in them. Okay, so I'm going to go through a bunch, show you where they are, which ones to, you know, to take the time to separate the copper from the, the metal, and which ones not to. At a scrapyard, transformers actually have their own category. And, um, all of them, it's about uh, 10 cents a, a pound Canadian right now. Um, and you know, you get some big ones like this. Uh, this actually right here is 10 pounds. So this is actually a dollar's worth. Um, you know, and then you have little tiny transformers like this. Uh, obviously not gonna be very heavy, but they will add up if you, if you keep them um, in, a, in a, a bag or a, a bucket, okay? But there are some of these that are worthwhile taking apart, okay? Some of them actually have a lot of copper in them, okay? So if I show you, for example, something like that, um, you know, something like that, you can see the nice uh, spool of copper there. Some of these are actually worth taking apart, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you. So first thing I'm gonna start off, these come off of different circuit boards, okay? So if you look at this circuit board, uh, this came off of a computer, okay? It's got a nice spool of copper. That's not a transformer. Transformers usually have yellow tape around them, okay? So here is a small little transformer. Here is a bigger one, okay? So a circuit board like this, it's lower grade circuit board. This, if I took it in as is, I, I think it's something like two cents a pound. Okay, whereas transformers are 10 cents a pound. So what I like to do is I actually break these off and I will put them into a separate container. Okay, and before I put them into a container, I wanna look to see if there is enough copper in there or if it's worthwhile to actually separate it, uh, to take the copper out. Because currently right now, that, this copper would probably be worth, uh, I think it'd be classified as number two copper, uh, depending if there's coating on it. And copper right now is about $1.60 a pound for number two copper. So, you know, I like to store it up to separate it. Okay, here's another actual circuit board. This transformer is a lot larger, surrounded by steel. Okay, there's a steel frame around it. And then there's steel prongs that hold it in. Uh, in order to get the copper out of there, I actually have to break open this steel. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple today. Um, and to show you, you know, if it's worthwhile breaking it or separating it. And so here we go. First one I want to look at is, you know, something like this. People are going to think, oh, because it's so big, it's going to have a lot of copper. Not necessarily true. Okay. So if I take a look down in here, there is a lot of paper. Okay. A lot of times co the copper in a transformer, uh, depending on the type of transformer, will have a uh, you know, copper wire and then a layer of tape, copper wire, a label or a layer of tape. Okay, so this, if I actually just break it open, it does have a little bit of copper right there, but that's just actually a very thin mesh. Okay, it's not very big. Okay, um, opening this up, if I look down the middle, there are some wires. Okay, but it's not a lot of copper there's just a lot of tape okay so if i took a pair of pliers and actually pulled one out if i could okay there you go there is a lot more there it's there's a lot more time and energy taken just to break the tape off okay so something like this i would just throw into a transformer bucket as is Now, this one, if I look at it, there is a really nice spool of copper, okay? And this is 
kind of heavy because this is a nice solid uh, bunch of steel plates interwoven. Okay, so if I actually just peel the tape off, you can see that this is not just one solid piece of steel, okay? Something like this, I can just take a hammer and break it. So I'll do that right now just to show you, okay? So it's just, there. This steel just breaks off, this is magnetic, it's a type of steel that just goes around the transformer, okay? So just broke apart my hair. I just throw that into uh, my steel bucket now because I've already destroyed it but I, I would have just left it as is. Okay. This one, however, I can't do that. Um, where's the one I just had, sorry. I can't do that because these are all single um, steel plates that go around this transformer. So in order to get this these plates off, uh, actually I can just pull one up right now, sort of. Okay, there's a flap of it. It goes around and it goes actually inside um, the transformer, so I have to pry it up and pull it out, and I will be left with a bunch of uh, copper spool. Okay, and I've already actually started one. If I can find this somewhere. Oh, here we go. Yes. So, if I took this, and I've got to work at it, but if I, the first prong is always the hardest to get out, but if I took a screwdriver, or then a pair of pliers. Okay, so this is just a thin piece of steel. Okay, and they are in here all the way down. Okay, so you have to break that open. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth the copper content. All right, um, so that's one form. Okay, and all I do with these, as I said, is I take a, uh, I put them into a vise, I just work out the prong. Once I get the first couple, it's easy. Okay, and I like also to take a hammer and or a, and a screwdriver just to loosen them up so they kind of break away from each other. There are different sizes, okay? So there are bigger ones like this that have the, the teeth in them, okay? This actually has the teeth in, okay? So these I would definitely take apart to get the copper out of it. And again, it's just a spool of copper, but it adds up. I throw it into a bag and, and they're easy to get. Okay, here is another transformer. Okay, this was, I've already taken the, the steel off of there, but you notice there is a really nice spool of copper that came out of that. All I would do actually, once I get the copper out, I take the top off. There might be a little bit of tape on it, um, and that's okay because I, I just make sure I get the tape off, but it just unravels. Okay, and sometimes if there's a gouge on it, okay, I'm not, not going to take the whole thing off, but you notice, really nice spool of copper. Okay, this is coming out of a transformer. This is a bigger model of a transformer. So all I did before I looked into here, I wanted to make sure that this was copper, okay? This transformer actually just breaks off a really nice heavy uh, steel frame, okay? And this actually has two layers to it. This is a transformer off of a microwave, okay? There's a layer of tape. Okay, I gotta peel the tape off. So there is actually a thin um, this is two layers, sorry, the thin wire at the top. And then actually in the middle, if I took a screwdriver and broke this off, there is actually a thicker copper wire in there. Okay, so I would definitely take this apart as well. The last one, the most important one I want to show you is the ones that come in the bigger appliances. Okay, look a lot like this. All right, and before I take this apart, first off, this is, as I said before at the start of the video, 10 cents a pound. This is actually 10 pounds. So this right here would be a dollar, okay? However, 
before I just take this in, I want to look if these spools are copper because there are three different types of transformers uh, this size. Some of these transformers are actually, there are two spools of wire here. Some of them are both copper, okay? And a lot of older microwaves are actually are uh, both copper. Some of them are aluminum copper. Some of them are copper aluminum. Some of them are both aluminum. So before I actually take the time and open this up, I'm gonna check to see if it's copper or aluminum. Okay, so very easy to do, I just take a file, scratch the side, and if you notice right there, that is a metallic look, so that actually is aluminum. Okay, then I wanna also check the other one. Okay, because you can just see it there, that is metallic as well. This is both coils are aluminum. I'm not going to take the time to take this out because aluminum is not worth the value uh, in weight. Okay, so I would actually just take this transformer in as is and get a dollar for it because it's 10 pounds. This one, again, I'd have to break it open. Here is another transformer that comes out of a microwave. I'm going to, just like I did with the other one, scratch. There's a metallic look. I'm gonna do the other side because I've got to expose the tape. And if you notice, this is copper. So this is actually worth taking apart. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this one apart. And I've got one more, so I'm gonna start off. This is after an older microwave. You can see that that's a nice copper look. Turn the other spool over, the bigger one, bigger, thicker wire. And that is copper as well. So I'm gonna take this one apart to get both these spools out, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Okay, it's very simple. All right. Um, some of them have a top plate like this, some of them don't. But all of them, if they are not like uh, the one model I showed you where the prongs um, go around, there are welds, okay? And there are a couple welds on both sides. What I wanna do is I wanna take my angle grinder and I want to actually grind this weld as well as this weld. Because what's gonna happen is if I do that, this top is gonna pop off and it's going to leave me with almost like an E shape, okay? So that's how these co or these coils are uh, attached, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now for you. Gonna first of all, cut off these wires. These wires, they are lower grade wires. These are gonna go into my uh, low grade copper wire bin. I want to make sure, because I'm grinding, I'm going to put on a pair of gloves. And Okay, so I'm going to grind this for you. I always put on heavier gloves if I'm grinding because I don't want to cut myself. And when I'm dealing with grinding discs, I also put on my safety glasses. I always wear a face shield just because I'm accident prone. And a lot of times when you're cutting stuff, there is the potential of debris uh, flying out. Okay, so
one side. What I want to make sure as I do is I get all the way down to the edge of um, where it meets the copper, just so it'll be easier to hit with a hammer. So that's one side. So now I have to do, uh-oh. Nope, that's right. Uh, actually, I should have cut the other one. So it will work, but I'm gonna actually cut the other one as well. That's all right, it takes me a couple seconds to do. right weld. It'll help make it easier because I think I just pour comes up. Okay, so this is gonna, this is very heavy steel. This is gonna go into my steel bin. Now I have two coils of copper, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually, I can probably hit it out with a hammer, if I can get it. And there's one. There are a couple little pieces of steel deal in here that holds the second one in. So I've got to make sure that I pull those out. Okay, and they'll probably start loosening up as soon as I hit it. There we go. So there's going to be one. Okay, so this is just a nice little slide of steel again. Take out the second one. Nice thing is a lot of this mechanical stuff is just using Sometimes, because I've opened it, and it's not a big deal, it's two ways right there. Okay, so again, this is going to go into my steel bin. This is very heavy. Okay, but I am left with, and I got to peel the plastic off and paper off, but I'm left with two really nice coils of copper. Uh, this copper probably two pounds and if I did the math even if this was number um, two copper which would be let's say a dollar eighty two pounds you know I'm left with about 360 here so way better than I'm gonna get for a dollar if I took it in as is it took me you know five minutes to open it up okay but I just wanted to show you the different types of transformers 
Again, they come in different sizes. You can, just to summarize it, bring it in as is, but a lot of them, before you bring them in as transformers, look to see if there is a lot of copper in them because it does add up. And I've shown this on a few videos before, but all this copper is just from motors and transformers like this. This bag is 10 pounds, okay? So it's, uh, it depends on you know, how much time you have and, and if it's worth your while. But uh, you know, for me, it is. And uh, I'm hoping this video was informative for you. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, uh, comment down below. Hey, and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Tin Man out.